Hi friends, in this video I like to show you how to how to create one MDL file uh, in, in MATLAB Simulink. First open MATLAB by double clicking on the icon. Once MATLAB is open, you can make it bigger and try to come to here this page Simulink. Just click on it. That will be opened. And once it will be open, please open new model. Yeah, this is new model and this is my library. As I already told in the previous video, I like to show you one DC source and two resistors connected in series. And I like to show you what is current passing through that loop and what are the voltages across each and every old resistor. First, I need to take a voltage source that is DC voltage source. So, let me come to SIM power systems sources, electrical sources. Yes, here is DC voltage. So, please drag and drop the element like this. Next, as I already told you, there are I will connect two resistors. So let me take RLC branch here and drop here. Next, of course I can get one more thing from here itself. So I will do it in the next step. So once I, I got these two, so one voltage source, two resistors connected in parallel. Now I like to show you what is current. To get the current or voltage, I need to go for measurement. And measurement current measurement is there so I have taken it and voltage measurement is also there I have taken it and next I like to show you waveforms also so I need to go for Simulink commonly used blocks here I need to see scope where is the scope yeah this is the scope so scope and I, I already told you I will show I will show the value also and that value will be here um, where it is this is I already shown this in previous video sinks in sinks display will be there yeah this display block these are the sufficient blocks to create what I have already explained to you only DC source two resistors in series let me short it out if you click like this you can you can shorten the name and you can change the name and first I need to connect this thing this thing I like to give a name as R1 and this is three elements are there so I want only one element that is resistor let me take this resistor as 10 ohm apply ok and let me write this same thing here is equal to 10 ohm is equal to 10 and please right click on this and move like this drag and drop here so that you will get the new one and you can right click on it format and you can rotate it maybe clockwise direction or you can rotate it in anti-clockwise direction also now you can flip the block so that the block will be flipped like this and this is the thing so now you can change this let me make it to 20 this is 20 and the value is R2 yes and I want to give value here this value will be 100 let me give it as 300 so that it will be equally distributed it will give some value no problem and this is voltage let me take it as VDC which is equal to 300 and this is 20 let me see this one is 20 apply ok so these are the things now I like to connect all these things maybe this this is sufficient yeah up to this the connection is over 
I have given this voltage source VDC 300 volt and resistors R1 is 10 ohm and R2 is 20 ohm. So according to KVL, the voltage in a closed loop should be equal to algebraic sum of voltages in any closed loop should be equal to 0. So this is 300 volt this is one voltage drop will be there and here one more voltage drop will be there so some of these two should be equal to 300 okay so according to as the current is same the resistance is 10 ohm so obviously here 100 volt will be there and here 200 volt will be there so obviously current how to calculate current current is okay, let me write everything here according to according to kvl according to kvl so vdc minus voltage across r1 minus voltage across r2 is equal to 0 okay let me make it bigger or uh, I can zoom in yes now it will be visible I guess so according to KVL VDC minus V R1 minus V R2 is equal to 0 and before that I like to see current current I is equal to voltage divided by equivalent of the resistances and resistances R equivalent is equal to R1 plus R2 which is equal to yes R1 is 10 ohm plus R2 is 20 which is equal to 30 30 ohm so obviously this is my R equivalent now I like to find current I which is equal to total voltage will be 300 divided by this is total resistance is 30 which is equal to 10 ampere yes 10 ampere of current is flowing through flowing in this loop and now what voltage across r1 is equal to according to ohm's law current into r1 which is equal to current is 10 ampere into r1 is 10 so the voltage across r1 is 100 volt similarly voltage across r2 is equal to i into r2 which is equal to 10 into 20 sorry 10 into yeah 20 only which is equal to 200 volt so this is the complete explanation of this circuit we have simply given one DC source having 300 volt supply and this 300 volt is feeding two resistors one is having 10 ohm second one is having 20 ohm now the thing is current flowing in this loop will be 10 ampere according to Ohm's law and some simplification um, some simplification techniques so finally voltage across R1 is 100 volt and voltage across R2 is 200 volt so these are the things we need to prove now we need to prove all these things so let me take down this here and I need to see some other things for this voltage measurement scope display things are required current measurement is current only so let me take it as I voltage measurement is I need two voltage sources so two I need to find two voltages one is VR1 and second one is VR2 right click move drag and drop so that it will give you one more thing this is VR2 and I need to find VDC also I will find it no problem I will show VDC also whether it is 300 or not this one and as we know very well the current source is, I mean, the ammeter is connected in series with the thing with the circuit, and voltmeter is connected in parallel or across the element. 
so we taking that basic thing in mind let me remove this wire once the wire is removed and I need to place this yeah plus is connected to first terminal and minus is connected to second terminal and this I will be connected to whatever you want let me take scope here so I need to connect to scope here I like to connect first I, I like to connect voltage source voltage source and the current next VR1 and VR2 so this is what I like to follow so I will follow the in the same manner and please try to follow mm, come here this is second one so this is I, I want to connect this one also this one is VDC let me move there yes this should be connected across VDC I mean supply next VR1 and this is connected first to terminal to first and minus to second terminal VR1 and this is VR2 first and second that's it now this is scope if you double click on this this is only for one parameter and I like to make it number of axes is 4 so that it will show you 4 things at a time as I told you I like to take first one to supply voltage and second one let me go up and second one is source current and third one is VR1 and fourth one is VR2 yes this is the thing and I like to show you everything in the display block and let me keep display block here only let me come here this one uh, I want first one is VDC and okay this is VDC let me write M means measurement next next one is current so let me take it as I am and this is right click drag and drop to get the other thing this is R1 R1 or M, V R M1 so this is the measurement of R1 let me write like this yes this is measurement of R2 so first one is VDC as you know next is current I so it is connected to I next is V R1 next is V R2 so this is the thing so everything finished but now I need to give power GUI also nowadays without power GUI it won't accept also power GUI this is uh, power graphic user interface if you double click on this it will show you so many things yeah these are the all analysis tools and everything will be available here FFT analysis this will be used frequently and some other things will also be there regarding power um, what there are there may be different how the power is going going to change and some other things will be there if you see this steady state voltage steady state voltage and current so all these things may be useful but I never use this I have used only FFT analysis and this one figure parameters now our job is to click on this continuous is okay if you like to use any discontinued discrete things you need to go ahead with discrete also but now as per this example is concerned continuous is absolutely okay so let me close this also yes 
this is for power zero right and this is the entire thing now i like to save it for saving please do like this save as hmm, here let me name it as youtube trial so it won't accept space so please careful otherwise let me show you youtube trial let me save this yeah it will it is showing like this is not a valid model name because it's not a valid matlab function name okay so i need to change the name so that's because of space only so this you can say like this T R A I L trial save or let me do it as introduction intro save yes now it will be saved now i need to run this but this this is simulation time so up to 10 seconds it will run but i don't want that much so uh, let me run it for 4 seconds only and this is simulation now i need to start start simulation so i will start it so here here simulation will be done so these are the values see 300 10 100 200 this these things are displayed correctly as we have measured so all these things are correct only and now i need to double click on scope and let me maximize this scope parameters if you click on the parameters it will show you number of axes time range and tick labels all these things will be there and coming to data history it we it is limited to 5000 last 5000 only so it may not show you entire thing so let me untick this and let me tick this this will save your data to workspace and there is some advantage of ticking this and that will be shown in the other video so apply okay so these are the four things and here this is auto scale so if you click on this everything will come up as we know the first one is first one is voltage supply voltage and that is 300 second one is current 10 ampere and the third one is vr1 100 volt and the fourth one is vr2 200 volt so these are the things how we have to see in our scope so this is the seeing of scope like this you can close this this is the complete explanation of how we need we can use youtube sorry how we can use this simulation in simulink we can simply connect it we can drag and drop the elements from library browser and once we have dropped it we simply connect them and we can take the outputs maybe if you want video you just go ahead with scope if you want value just go ahead with display blocks and before going to all these things you need to calculate in a proper manner so that you should have some idea regarding the circuit what are the values we are giving and what are the values we are expecting so that your thing will be easier of course in some gigantic systems or some research oriented systems you may not know the output also in the in those cases you will see the output straight away in scope or by using display blocks this is the complete explanation of how to use simulink matlab simulink browser okay thank you thank you one and all